Hello, and thanks for watching. In today's video demo, we cover a Covair Omnibus integration scenario that bridges both ITSM and ALM domains using two popular tools, BMC's Remedy and Rally Dev. We begin here in Remedy, where we will create a new incident. I select the company, give a customer name, summary, and proceed down the list giving appropriate values. Now that we're finished, you can see the incident we just created here in the management console. We now proceed to create a related change request based on this incident. I alter the summary for clarity, adding CR in front of the description. Proceeding down and assigning values for all the required fields, I save the change request. Finally, in a similar fashion, I'll create a matching problem record. Now that we created all of these items in Remedy, we would expect to see a user story in Rally based on the change request and a defect based on the problem record. I'll switch to Rally now. As you can see, a user story with the ID US131 has already been created. Notice the item names as well as values like impact and urgency have been transferred as well. Moving on to our defect, you can see the integration created defect here, problem for login validation. Opening it, you can see values such as state, priority, and severity have been mapped. At this point, I'd like you to consider how useful it would be if the ITSM user working in Remedy had access to the ticket IDs generated within Rally. Thanks to an omnibus feature called SyncBack, we can do exactly that. Let's switch to Remedy and see how this works. Opening the CR in Remedy, Notice the vendor ticket number field here, US131. The same ID is generated in Rally. Next, we make some modifications to our items in Rally, which will be reflected back in Remedy. I open the CR and modify the title. Give an estimate, 80 points in this case. And change the urgency to medium. The record is saved and we move on to do similar modifications on our defect. Again, we edit our title. This time, we'll give some extra details, filling the found in and target build entries. Finally, we give a target date for the fix and save the defect in Rally. Now that we've made some modifications, we switch back to Remedy to see our changes and additions reflected there. I'll open the change request and you can see the story points added to the notes and the urgency has been changed to medium. Heading over to the problem management console, we locate and open up our problem.
Here, as with our CR, the title has been modified and the extra information added to the notes. Alternatively, we could have made custom fields for this information if desired. Moving on to the next stage, let's say our developers have resolved the defect and completed the CR. I switch to Rally and quickly change the status of our problem. and finally save the record. Likewise, I alter the CR. Back in Remedy, I locate the problem in the Management Console. On opening it, you can see the status has been changed. Switching to the Change Console, I'll find our CR by using the appropriate filter. Opening it, you can see its status is marked as complete. Now that the problem and CR have been closed, the original incident record can be closed as well. We have set this to happen automatically using Cover's policy engine. Locating the incident and opening it reveals that it has, in fact, been marked as resolved. One major advantage of using the process and policy engine is that you can span multiple tools. Lastly, we look at how these items are represented in Cover. I log in and we'll begin by having a look at the dashboard. Dashboards give real-time data using graphical report widgets. They are fully configurable and users may have access to multiple dashboards. We have a few example distribution and trend reports set up as you see here. The dashboards are more than just a picture. The user can drill down directly from here to see the data beneath. Another common need is to be able to see the relations between artifacts across different tools. One way of doing this is via the traceability view. I open the incident entity and select the traceability view here. I'll search for the record we created earlier, in this case by using its ID, 1. Expanding the tree, you can see our Remedy CR, which for today's scenario we have mapped into Cover as a kind of requirement. You can also see the defect that was created in Rally via our integration logic. This brings us to the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. To learn more about Cover Solutions, please visit us at cover.com.